The one sport where you have to be fit is shooting, in both senses of the word. For how many people realize that a sporting gun has to be made to measure to suit individual requirements? To show you how this is done, we visit an old established gunsmith's in London's West End. After the customer has been sighted to determine his master eye, one is usually stronger than the other and takes control, the angle of the stock in relation to the barrel can be adjusted accordingly. This adjustable gun is used only for fitting customers, for obviously each one varies in height, width of shoulder and length of arm. From it can be measured important factors like the length from trigger to the end of the stock and the cast off or angle that the stock is placed in relation to the barrel. A lot of trouble is taken with attention to detail in the early stages, for an imperfect fit can spoil the value of a pair of guns that cost approximately £1,000. Yet even £1,000 doesn't seem so much when one considers the great tradition of craftsmanship that goes into the manufacture of every gun, each one taking nine months to make. The stock has been made by the skilled hands of Arthur Gwynne from French walnut, which has been selected for strength of grain and beauty of figure. By Arthur's standards, it takes 10 days to carve a stock from a solid block, including the fitting of the mechanism, which is made first. The highly specialized work of checkering the stock is the job of Ebenezer Hands, who's been a stocker for 68 years. Today, at 84 years of age, his hands are as nimbly efficient as ever. This type of gun is made by hand because the firm feels that the human eye is more accurate than a machine. In fact, they've been made this way for 135 years. This process, by the way, is the fitting of extractors and mechanism by Reg Taylor. The gun barrels are made from nickel steel and have to pass a pressure test. For the technically minded, a cartridge when fired sets up a pressure of 7,000 pounds per square inch in comparison to a locomotive which has a pressure of 250 pounds per square inch. Although one is of course instantaneous and the other continuous. The fourfold checking job of Charlie Ganderton entails testing the ejectors, testing the weights of trigger pressure, usually about four pounds per square inch, testing the distance between the two triggers using a spacing blank, and finally testing for balance. Although they should receive yearly overhauls, sporting guns will last a lifetime if looked after. Symbols of the best in British craftsmanship.